Hey, what's up, Yankees fans? It is Felix yet again from nynews.com. Make sure you share that URL. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, NYY Insider, Facebook, the same handle, and Instagram. So, Venezuela. Venezuela has always had great ball players, but you're going to see the golden age of Venezuela come up shortly if it hasn't already. They are producing top-notch caliber baseball players. We all saw Miguel Cabrera from years past and still playing. Omar Vizquel, who was practically Dr. Strange, a wizard with the glove. Then you had Johan Santana, Cy Young Award winner. So we all know Venezuela has been producing top-notch baseball players for quite some time now. But, like I said, you're about to see the golden age with Gleyber Torres. Ronald Osuna, etc. So, a lot of young players for Venezuela. So, the question now is, Leiba Torres or Jose Altuve for the All-Star game? Obviously, as of now, Jose Altuve is going to be an All-Star, just from the simple fact that he has name recognition. And as of now, he is batting 306. But, if we're talking about numbers... On who has the better numbers or who might have the better numbers come All-Star game. Then Gleyber Torres is winning that battle. Sure, Jose Altuve has a 306 batting average. But he only has two home runs, 22 RBIs in 51 games. Let's see Gleyber Torres' stats. Gleyber Torres, 27 games, 22 RBIs. And eight home runs, batting average 323. Here is another interesting stat from Gleyber Torres. In 27 games, he has 30 hits. Jose Altuve, in 51 games, he has 63. So if Gleyber Torres started the season, he would be well ahead of Jose Altuve. So then again, the question again. Does Gleyber Torres get the starting job at second base for the American League All-Stars? There's a really good chance that he will be your starting second baseman come All-Star game. And I'm sorry if I leave a few names out, but these are the top so-called second basemen in Major League Baseball. So, Lowry of the Oakland Athletics is having a career year. Lowry has about 9 home runs, 38 RBIs, and a 314 batting average. So if you ask me, that's pretty legit to be an all-star or start at second base. But like I said, Jose Altuve has the name recognition, but the only player that can beat him is Gleyber Torres with the fan base that is the Yankees. Then after Lowry and Altuve, there's not much competition the usual names like Do Dozier, etc. He's not having a good year. Then Moncada from the Chicago White Sox. He has about seven home runs. His batting average is 255. I mean, there's not much competition. Gleyber Torres, if he continues his pace, you can or will see him start at second base. But like I said, it's going to be difficult because Jose Altuve does have that name recognition. And he has a 306 batting average. But like I said, if he if Gleyber Torres continues his pace, he might outpace Lowry of the Athletics as well. So an interesting fact, Torres is just on fire. He is ranked second in the American League in home runs for second baseman. Right behind Lowry, who has nine, Torres has eight. And it's amazing because Torres has done it in 27 games. So if this accomplishment alone isn't enough to, let's say, get him the starting gig at second, then it's like what I'm saying, Jose Altuve is going to get it off of name recognition alone. But for sure, Torres is playing like an all-star. As of now, he is an all-star, and we should all expect Torres to be an all-star or maybe even start second base for the American League. So like always, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.